is Manchester United versus Tottenham live watch along on the United stand strap yourselves in not on and uh, get ready for the next few hours of uh, Manchester United fan review reaction and all that talk you know we'll talk transfers as well of course we'll t of course we'll talk about bloody transfers I mean what else are we going to talk about but I just want to say this is a massive game of football as well I'm massively excited about it Probably more excited when the game kicks off. Um, I still think the enormity of it maybe not be resonating as much as it should be with United fans because any other time of the season, Solskjaer versus Mourinho, we've already lost the game this season. We're not playing particularly. I think tomorrow, as I said many a time, is going to be very interesting. Uh, Martial's just gone down in the box. The penalty to Manchester United early on. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Anthony Taylor says penalty and Manchester United have got a penalty within the first 30 seconds. And it's Anthony Martial who goes down. Bruno with the little ball through. Martial, is it a penalty? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it is. Get the ball and he puts his foot out. Yeah, that's a penalty. <laughs> penalty to Manchester United. Davinson Sanchez on Martial. I've got Martial in the Fantasy Premier League team. I've got Bruno in the Premier League Fantasy Premier League team. Goal and an assist possibly coming in here for United. Oh, come on, Bruno. He's going to have to miss at some point. He's going to have to miss at some point. Bruno Fernandes with the penalty. This, oh God, what a start. He finished the last Premier League game with a goal. Is he going to start off with another one? Bruno. Yes! Get in! Bruno Fernandes. 1-0 to Manchester United. Clinical. The little hop. And then he passes it into the back of the net. And United have got the dream start here. Martial with the penalty. And then Bruno steps up to pass it home. Does Lloris with the art. Lloris is just done. He's absolutely done. It's not even an amazing finish. It's just the calmness. And the, you know, just so clinical. So, so clinical, Bruno Fernandes. He's, he's just so clinical. Oh, he could perform open heart surgery on a heartbroken ant blindfolded. He is that clinical. Oh, he's just brilliant. And I don't even know if ants have a heart. I don't even care. He's that clinical. He could do it anyway. 1-0 to Manchester United and it's the dream start from United. We've barely, we've barely started. And uh, Mourinho will be furious. And it wasn't actually Eric Dyer with the mistake. It was uh, it was Davinson Sanchez, wasn't it? So Manchester United 1-0 up here. We will change the score. Yes, Jose, that was a penalty. And yes, Jose, that's 1-0. Come on. In two. Oh, what the bloody hell. Get out, Harry Maguire. Piss off. Piss off, Harry Maguire. You useless piece of shit. What are you doing? What is he bloody well doing? That is the worst bit of defending I've ever seen from United. What is he bloody well doing here? What is he doing? He's trying to head it back to the keeper. Oh my life. Bloody Harry Maguire. He's useless. He's bloody well useless. He gets two chances to head this away. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's crap. He's absolutely crap. £80 million pounds we've paid for him. £80 million pounds for his aerial ability. And he heads the ball like a bloody balloon. Useless. Absolutely bloody useless. Oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. £80 million quid on that prat. You can't believe it. You can't get... You can't get 1-0 up in a game like that and give a lead up straight away. He is dusted. Absolutely dusted. What a prat. He defends that ball in the air. Oh, here we go. Son. 2-0. Fuck off. Get out. Get out. This defence is rubbish. It's bloody rubbish. Harry Maguire again. Stupid foul. Quick free kick. 2-1 down. Two one down. Bloody rubbish. I tell you what, you can buy Messi, you can buy Neymar, you can buy Ronaldo with these prats at the back. Look at that. Stupid free kick. Nobody's covering the back. I can't believe this. 
To be honest with you, I tell you what, to be honest with you, that ref's a bloody disgrace. That free kick should not be allowed to be done that quickly. This is not... That shouldn't be allowed to do... That, they shouldn't be allowed to do that that quick. I tell you what, I don't think that's right. I think United have had a really bad start, but I think the ref's taken the piss there. Harry Kane gets up and literally kicks the ball straight away. I don't think... I, you know, I don't know. I think that's open to interpretation. But the reality is, defensively, shit... Harry Maguire, in the first seven minutes, has defended like a bloody newborn lamb trying to stop a pack of hungry wolves eating the last Krispy Kreme donut. Rubbish! Captain of the club, get rid of him. He's a bloody joke. What a shamble. How is this on the manager? How is this on the manager? It's just idiots. 80 million quid on a bloody... Well, I, I, I'm not even going to use the derogatory term that people use. Have you seen Twitter? Uh, Tellez is confirmed. Mate, I couldn't give a shit about Tellez. <laughs> I said this when it was confirmed. I can't, I, I'm focused on three points here. I, I couldn't give a shit if Messi signed. People need to realise we're a bloody football club. You buy players to play on the pitch. We're playing a match. We're playing a bloody football match. What are you talking about Tellez for? Is he on the pitch? No. Should he be on the pitch? Three weeks ago. So Tellez to me is irrelevant. He's not going to wear a Man United shirt for three weeks. I couldn't give a shit about Tellez being confirmed an hour before a game. It's irrelevant news. We're playing a bloody football match. This is why the problem with the board is. These deals should have already been done. We're a bloody shambles. And we're not winning two... We're not winning one nil, by the way. I'm trying to change into this game. And Pogba again, stuck on the bloody ball. Get Pogba off as well. I mean, I don't know whether this ref's having a bad game or not, but he's given us sod all. But Pogba getting stuck on the ball there. Fucking hell. You know what someone needs to do? Put a fucking two-footed tackle in on Spurs. Somebody, you know, I'm not, I'm not talking about a red card, but somebody go through a Spurs player and get the ball. Get this bloody team going. I'll tell you what, I'd love it. I'd love to play for this team. Roy Keane in this team. It just needs somebody to get them off their bloody arse and focus. We're making mistakes because we're not concentrating. Get your bloody groove on. I know, I know Harry Maguire's got no pace, but he's quick, quicker than him. Lovely ball by Bruno. Rashford hit it. Oh. Oh, he's in the post. I don't believe it. What a ball by Bruno. And the linesman's pulled it off for offside, I think. How have you got yourself off here, Rashi? He's not offside. Aaron Wambasaka is not good attacking wise. It's better if he sticks to his man and defends what he can do best, says Darshan. There's a red card. Who for? Oh, fucking hell. What's going on here? I didn't even see it. I can't even tell you what's going on here. There's a red card for Lamella. Martial, I think, might have got a red card here, or Eric Bay. He pushes Lamella. Lamella pushes him in the face first. Oh my life! They forget cancel football. Cancel football. If they're gonna if they're gonna stick to this red card, is what? What's the point in VAR? What's the point in VAR? What is the point in VAR? He, he hits Martial first. What is the point in VAR if he sends Martial off? What is the point? Am I am I missing something? What is the point? Lamella hits him first. I'm I'm lo I'm lost here. What how can Martial be sent off and not Lamella? I'm not I'm not even joking. Football is over. What that is a disgrace. Come on. I know United are defended badly. Football is a disgrace. Oh my god. How can Martial get the red and not Lamella? And Kane makes it 3 1. Oh. 
Uh, I'll tell you what, we may as well just give up and go home. The ref has fucked this game up. I can't believe it. I, you know what? I actually can't believe this. Eric Bay as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm very rarely speechless, but I don't even know what to say. We're trying to pass out from the back. Son with the assist. Harry Kane makes it 3-1. I mean, <laughs> we are lower. We are sinking lower than Bilbo Baggins front door here. But I, I tell you what, I feel in a massive, massive sense of injustice because I cannot understand how Lamella isn't getting a red card. And And you know what? All interest in this game has gone to me because I cannot understand how Lamella can go like that on Anthony Martial. Martial should get a red, but so should Lamella. I don't understand it. Why does he not send Lamella off as well? What am I missing something? He blatantly hits him in the head. I can't. I can't. I, I don't. I'm, not, I'm. I'm disengaged in football now. I'm. Inter I'm not interested in VAR, in football anymore because we've got VAR for a reason. And Martial shouldn't do what he does. But Lamella hits him first. Like, how is... How? How is that not a red card to Lamella as well? I don't get it. What? what where's the justice in life? Where's the, where's the justice in football? Being... Well, it's 4-1. It's 4-1 and it, we've only had 36 minutes. I feel like throwing up. I feel like throwing up. I'm looking at Son dancing around like a smug shit. Um, I never. I don't think anybody predicted this coming today. No. There's no pride in the shirt. There's no leadership in the shirt. I mean, Luke Shaw's way out of position here. Why is Harry Maguire on the front post? What are we doing? Matic's not picking up the run. Nobody's picking up the runners. I mean, we're down to 10 men at the end of the day, so this is going to happen, but... <sighs> I just don't get it. It's gone through Maguire's legs as well on the cross. Bloody hell. Maguire's been nutmegged on a cross now. What is that from Wambasaka? Piss off back to Palace, you useless shit. You've got so much time to whip a cross in and he passes it back to Lloris. Weak mentality. Join the list. Pussies. Wambas who's, walk who's marking Son? Somebody mark Son for the love of God. Somebody bloody mark him. Like... No, but just watch the freedom Son's had today. They don't fucking mark him. This will be 10. This could be 10. We could be on the edge of our biggest ever Premier League loss here. I'm not joking. They've given up. Oh, Harry Maguire's going on a run now. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, give it, give the pass and piss off back to the back and do your job. Well, at 2-1, you got a chance. But do you know what? Do you know what? They're all an embarrassment, especially that back line. It's Captain Harry Maguire, fucking Harry Beckenbauer. Oh, you fuck. Mate, yeah. I'm telling you, I've said it a load of times before. Everyone's giving him a free pass. Get rid of Lindelof. Everyone's giving him a free pass because he's just come. He's 85 million and the captain. The reality is he's not good enough. It's just a fact. It's a fact. I don't know what he's thinking. I do not know what he's thinking. And, the, and just away from Harry Maguire, the mentality of the side, the whole mentality of the side was just absolutely non-existent. He makes another foul on, on, um, on Harry Kane. Step on the ball. Stand there. No reaction. Wan Bissaka, no reaction. Eric Bailly, probably a little bit harsh, but I went in on him as well. Again, no reaction. But even before that, we were wide open. We spoke about a good start. And technically, we actually got a good start. We got a pen after about 40 seconds. Mm. You, that's the perfect basis to build on. What happens? We allowed him in down the other end straight away. Harry Maguire, what are you... He's pulled back Luke Shaw. He's pulling him back. I know. Like... What what is he doing? 
85 million and people are just going to act like this ain't really happening. Martial suspended. Here we go. 5-1. Yeah, straight into the bottom corner. 5-1. Aurier on the overlap. Only had five minutes of the second half. <laughs> He's got Paul Pogba playing left wing against Aurier, who's going to bomb forward and backwards. Paul Pogba, who should have been subbed at half time, but he, te he took Bruno off. Putting Paul Pogba, keeping Paul Pogba on that pitch, asking him to do defensive work on the left-hand side is suicide. It's basically like sending a bloody noisy, sociable grasshopper into a world full of frogs. Suicide. He just doesn't... He's got no concept of tracking his man, Paul Pogba, and hasn't had it all game. They've been running off him all game. It was Endembele in the first half, ran off Paul Pogba. And yet we've kept Paul Pogba on the pitch to do a defensive job. And within five minutes, Aurier scores a goal. <sighs> I thought he took him off. wan is out of position again. Oh, my God. He's just giving a penalty away. He's cost us two goals. Absolute. Well, you know, Pogba's there having a good old smile. He's cost us two goals in this game. But what? I mean, I like Pogba. I've got nothing against Pogba. But I said he should have come off at half time. I said he had a bad first half. And he's cost us two goals, like both the goals in this second half. And, I, you know, people like Fred and McTominay have actually worked really hard. But he's, he's cost us both goals in this second half. So, you know, the Pogba fan club and a lot of the Pogba fan club will be Oli outers. And just, just the same as the Harry Maguire fan club, they're Oli outers. But you've got to step up to the plate and say that there's a collective problem here. And Harry Maguire makes it 6-1. Lovely penalty. Pass De Gea. He can't even... He goes the right way. He just can't get near it. But Paul Pogba's at fault for that. Totally and utterly at fault for that. There's no... It's a, it's a reckless slide tackle. There's a mentality issue at Manchester United. Like, the tackles that are going in in the box there... It's just... It just sends the wrong, the wrong message. It's a weak mentality. It's a petulance. It's a lack of discipline. He just slides into a tackle 10 weeks too late. It's disgusting from somebody of Paul Pogba's, you know, level of ability. He's won a World Cup. He's been in a dressing room telling everybody what to do. Why at Manchester United are you doing stuff like that? And look at Mourinho, he's loving it. He's loving it. And why wouldn't he? I've got no problem with it. By Harry Maguire. He wears the captain's armband... He couldn't lead a pack of ants to a picnic. He's rubbish. Absolute rubbish mentality. And the, the mistakes he's been making for the last three months. And let's not give him Greece as an excuse. He was making these mistakes at home to Bournemouth in the summer. Uh, away to Spurs, where Bergwijn just ran through him. Harry Maguire's been badly performing in a Manchester United shirt for a long time. You do have to ask the manager, one, why he's being picked, and two, why he's the captain of this team. Because look, any leadership, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's your job, whether it's, you know, your local football team, what any, any leadership is inspiring. Roy Keane inspired teams. John Terry inspired Chelsea. Gerrard inspired Liverpool. Harry Maguire does not inspire this football team. He's a representation of his manager. And unfortunately, this, this exposes us to big issues. So the player...